Hi, Jonathan Cohen here with Imagine Energy. Uh, we're at the Karuna Passive House and we're going to be talking about the mechanical domestic hot water and solar energy systems today. Uh, my company installed all these systems and we're going to be talking about how we came up with the design uh, with the Hammer and Hand team for this project to meet all of the client's goals. So because this is a passive house, uh, it's naturally going to have a very low uh, energy demand both for heating and cooling. And often um, systems, people like to choose really simple systems uh, relying on electric resistance to make sure, to meet the energy needs for the building. Um, but here we wanted to go also with a net zero building, so it's really important to reduce energy consumption wherever possible. And heating and cooling still is a substantial load, uh, as well as ventilation. So we wanted to make sure that a solar PV system could provide all of the energy for that building. So um, we're going to be talking about the systems we have here today. Um, right in front of us is part of our heating and domestic hot water system. It's actually a heat pump. And a heat pump is a device that essentially moves energy from one place to another. It's not like a furnace that burns a fuel like gas or uses electricity to make heat. It actually runs on electricity to move that heat, in this case from the outside, to the inside of the house. In doing so, it amplifies the amount of heat in the air uh, or in the fluid so that it can be enough to heat the house comfortably to 68 or 70 degrees. Um, so in this case, this is our indoor part of the heat pump, and then there's an outdoor part. And together, they work together to create hot water, which can be used for uh, in-floor heating in this case, as well as domestic hot water purposes. Okay, so we're looking at the radiant heating system at the Karuna House that provides tempering to the building uh, through the floors. And we actually have three different zones that you can see really clearly right here. Um, in a lot of homes that have a radiant floor system um, with more typical construction, they'll have six or eight different zones because there are different needs in different parts of the building and the temperature is not always consistent. In a passive house, temperatures are really, really even across surfaces, across walls and windows and floors. So we're able to use a much simpler system, uh, more elegant system. Um, some passive houses might only have one zone and that works really well for big open spaces. Uh, in our case, we have three distinct wings of the building, so we have three zones accordingly. Um, we use really smart design uh, using the uh, heat pump here. Uh, one of the features that we have here is this valve here that switches between providing domestic hot water and water to the floor system. What's nice about that is that we can control those temperatures differently. We don't have to heat all of that water up to domestic hot water's level, which is about 120 degrees. Instead, the floor can operate at much, much lower temperatures, meaning you're getting the highest efficiency out of the heat pump. Uh, in fact, it will operate at different temperatures depending on how cold it is outside. The colder it is outside, the warmer it will make the water in the floor. So. Um, Another uh, interesting aspect of this mechanical room is really how compact everything is. This area in front of me contains pretty much all of the equipment for the entire house. Whereas a normal house with a forced air furnace would have a large box and uh, it's moving a lot of air because that's how the heat is moved, water is a much better carrier of heat. So we can move all of the heat of the house in this one small pot, pipe. And because we're again going for net zero, we have this really small, efficient pump. It's a variable speed pump and it uses a tiny amount of electricity, kind of akin to the way uh, LED light uses a fraction of the energy of a normal incandescent bulb. So with this system, we're able to move the energy through the house in a variable way that uses the minimum amount of electricity all the time.